Hello, this is Lucky Lazuli, and welcome back to another episode of Dragon Quest XI. So we just automatically got to the bottom of the staircase and out of the cave. Yep, okay. Yeah, we saved the kid. Now, do I get a reward? No. Well, that was a waste of time then. up there we got a little worried I have to tell you <laughs> is it just me or is everyone that's an adult is dressed in green the elderly are purple and we're blue just seems a bit strange well, I never. sounds like it's nothing short of a miracle that you made it back in one piece well there's no doubt about it the spirit of the land was watching over you or this cult that you call a village. Now tell me, my dear, how was the view from the top? Oh, it was wonderful. I saw the sea stretch into the horizon and the sunlight playing on the water and... Oh, I've never seen anything like it in my life. <laughs> You're true cobblestonians now. Only we have the pleasure of looking out over the world of Erdria in such breathtaking fashion, you know. Oh, really? I am still young, and the day may yet come when you decide to leave Cobblestone behind. And then go up to Iron? I hope our little I mean, ceremony has opened mm, your eyes to a little of what may away. await you out there. Now, it's high time we were heading back. I'm sure your mother is eager to hear how things went, young man. Don't keep poor Amber in suspense. Poor Amber? Poor stomach. I've been waiting for this up. Come on, you. Home time. No, dinner time. Oh, that's a nice village. Alright. I'm in a village. And I have open view to do whatever I need to do. First thing I'm going to do. Look for any and all items I can. Raid everything. I do not remember finding this the last time when I was doing the little recordings to test it out and all. So this is a new area on me. Copper! Seed of Agility. Gold! Oh, whoa. Okay. Oh, okay. All the way to the bottom. Did I just put Emma on the head? Okay. Okay. 
search around for some items. Now I had probably passed this part earlier. So I do know where some of the items are, but I'm still double checking because like those ones up on the hill, I missed some. like how smooth everything is with the transitions and stuff so like I don't even have to transition into another screen for the shops it just immediately you're able to open up the shop go straight in and do what you need to do Guns. Smash! Can you jump up there? Okay. How about up here? I can't tell if I'm hitting my head on the roof or what. Oh, there we go. I can't get up on this roof. Okay. Smash the bucket. I can pick up. Antidote herb. Antidote herbs are good for getting rid of poisons. They'll be useful later on, along with the medical herbs, which are health restoring. Typically, these things don't restore very much, especially medical herbs, only like maybe 30 hit points or so. But that's still very useful early game. Cypress stick. Cypress sticks is the, one of the weakest forms of weapons in most Dragon Quest games. Almost landed on that person's head. Wasn't even trying. Smashing pumpkins! RPG is so weird with the fact that you just barge into everybody's home. Nobody ever cares. You just barge in and ransack the place, take their life saving. Up oh, a book. Tour de horse, Asturian for young and old. We'll take a closer look at it. 
The longest time I simply could not understand what the fuss was about with horses. To me, they always seem skittish and dangerous animals. But that all changed when I was finally convinced to ride one. Such grace, such speed, I was speechless. What a fool I'd been for all these years, refusing to even entertain the idea of riding one. Until he breaks his arm. Oh, oh, and the faithful, oh, and the way my faithful steed rushes to my aid the moment I ring the bell. No matter where I am in Urgia, it moves to me near to enough to tears every time. Such loyalty, such nobility. Long live the horse. I dare not imagine a life with at one now those heavenly hoofbeats have clip clopped their way into my heart. Well, good luck to him. Let's just open all this guy's doors. That any heat he might have had in his house out. Mess up this guy's firewood. And get on the roof. Still the item there. people's houses. Sometimes I wonder what takes me longer in these games. To thoroughly inspect every inch of a town, or to get through a dungeon. Sometimes I wonder. Furry feather? Oh man, I thought it said feathery feather. I would think a feather would be feathery. I think we've checked about everything. This is our last house to ransack. Oh look. Aw, oh, can you go through the waterfall? No secret waterfall caves. No secret waterfall cave. I'm kinda disappointed. Ah. Oh. Barrels behind the house. Oh! Here's my little soldier. Well, not so little anymore. I've heard all about your big adventure. Look at you, all grown up. Don't look like I've been little for very long, either. Too much of a bother, Gemma dear. <laughs> of course not. Quite the opposite, in fact. You would have been proud of him. We got attacked by a monster at the top of the tour, and I ended up hanging onto the edge of the cliff by my fingertips. I thought I was done for. But you'll never guess what happened next. That mark on his hand suddenly lit up, and a bolt of lightning hit the monster! Yeah, it probably what fell over here. That funny little mark? Lightning flying about the place? Goodness me. Can't stand you between a hero and really his supper. turn out nice and ordinary, but it seems his grandfather was right all along. Well, we've been putting this off for long enough now. You and me need to have a little talk. Yeah, like when's dinner? Here. This belongs to you. So do I eat it? Your grandfather asked me to give you it once you'd come of age and climbed the tour. 
truth is, there's something I've been keeping a secret all these years. Something I've never told another soul in the village. Really? It's... how can I put this now? Um... well... he said you're... Hungry? You're the reincarnation of the Luminary! I do not know what that is. What? Oh, don't ask me what the old fool meant, dear. I haven't got the foggiest. All I know is that your grandfather said you had a special destiny and that there was something you had to do. Oh, okay, well, He said it? that when you came of age, you were to head north to the capital, up there in Heliodor, and show that necklace thingy to the king. He uh, seemed to that? think that if you did that, all would become clear. Clear as mud, I shouldn't wonder. Anyway, the long and short of it is that if you want to find out what this is all about, you'll have to leave Cobblestone and head over to Heliodor. Crikey. You'll do that again. <laughs> well, I can't stop you leaving, I'm sure, but you won't be marching on an empty stomach. Come on, dinner. Yay, finally. <laughs> So I'm the reincarnation of a luminary. Now I have access to the house. I can inspect around here as well. Climb, climb, climb! Oh, it just dropped down. Take some clothes. Got a medical herb. Yeah. A little walking might do it good. Okay, go to this funny tree over here. Shortly after this is where I stop playing. Oh, can't sleep either, eh? You remember this tree, don't you? I, I saw it earlier. Stuck in it all those years ago. <laughs> there I was, crying like mad, and there you were, running round trying to help me get it down. So, uh, just like earlier. Some things never change, eh? Guess not. You know, I always imagined we'd spend our whole lives right here in Cobblestone. I was thinking more like iron and gold, but okay, Cobblestone. That's why I was so surprised by what your mum said today. All that stuff about you being the luminary, that reincarnation thing. I remember the story my granddad told me. Once upon a time, long, long ago, the world was terrorized by a horrible monster. But then, the luminary appeared and saved the day. When oh, it was all over, the luminary turned into a star. And he's been watching over us from up in the heavens ever since. Doesn't quite seem like the best turnaround for a hero. That's his star. Right there. Thank you for saving us all. Now we're going to make How you a star. How can you be the luminary too? I, I just don't get it. I know. That's what you're going to Heliodor to find out. I understand. Really, I do. Listen, we should both be getting back. Everyone will be wondering where we've got to. Goodbye, 
old friend. It's a pretty good effect with the tears, though. <laughs> oh my. Talk about a change of attire. Well, just look at you. You don't scrub up too bad, you know. I wish your grandfather were here to see you. You won't forget him, will you? He was a fine, upstanding man, the pride of the village. You could do worse than try to be like him. Well, however you turn out, I'm sure you'll find a way to overcome whatever lies ahead. A mother knows these things. Oh, by the way, I've popped a little money I'd saved for a rainy day in your pack. Don't spend it all at once. How did you have anything left over? Shop before you head off to Heliodor. You'll need some supplies for your big adventure. But don't take too long. The whole village is turning out to wave you off. I thought for sure I took everything. Oh, oh, of course. I did not know this. I already accomplished that then. The People's Friend Quest. Yeah, I already got the feather. Yep. That was a quick one. Side quest done. So we're going to the shop first. Let's see. We got a bandana. I equip that. We'll get a wayfarer clothes. We'll also equip that one. This will give us the extra protection. Come up this hill over here and then we'll say our farewells. Up, oh, up. Oh, I hit the wrong button. Now we go. Yeah. One day you're just a little boy, the next you're getting ready to leave us. I only wish your grandfather could see what a fine young man you've become. <laughs> yeah, and about, no, and a half an hour ago, I was a little baby. To think, 
It's been so many years already since old Chalky found you float... What do you mean? Since he brought you to Cobblestone. No, 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 no. What were you saying? We never thought there was anything out of the ordinary about you. And now suddenly there's all this talk of luminaries of all things. You know who the luminary was, of course. A legendary hero who saved the world from a terrible darkness. Yeah, I heard about that last time. We're supposed to believe that you're him reincarnated? <laughs> I don't doubt I'll chalk me, of course, but it is a little hard to swallow, I must say. Oh, when you meet the King of Heliodor, put in a good word for old Cobblestone, won't you, eh? <laughs> Oh, ah, I got a good idea. If he finds out this is the village where the luminary was raised, there might be something in it for us, <laughs> if you catch my drift. Sure, and I'll be the delivery. You'll never see it. Oh, you are terrible. Trust you to be thinking about what you can get out of it. Yeah, about the same as I'm thinking. Oh, no, I'm only joking, of course. The very thought. <laughs> anyway, where was I? Ah, yes. No. The fate that awaits you may well be one beyond anything we simple country folk can imagine. But you must allow us to offer what little assistance we can. Take this map of Erdria with you. May it prove useful in finding your way. Y'all you know, had something I didn't take already? I thought I took everything. Uh, uh, hit, hit. Oh. Oh. And may this magnificent steed, the pride of cobblestone, lighten your burden and speed you on your way. You'll find Heliodor easily enough. Just head north out of the village and follow your nose. Follow my nose? Oh, I gotta do is follow for food? Okay. You travel safely now. Oh, you're such a good boy. Such a good boy. You make us proud out there, won't you? And come back safe. Goodbye. Yeah. I'll be a while before I get back. Alright. For you. Nice sentiment. It'll keep you safe. I heard there are lots of monsters where you're going. Be sure to keep it close, won't you? Oh, of course, of course. Oh, I don't know what's in store for you out there, but wherever you go and whoever you meet, don't don't forget us, will you? Take care and remember. We'll be waiting for you. Off we go! Well, this is as far as I've gotten before. And I also think this is going to be a good wrapping up point. So we'll wrap it up for here. This is Lucky Lazoi playing Dragon Quest XI. Over and out. Goodbye.